Okay, so we're doing a little road maintenance today. We got a lot of work, uh, water last night, probably four or five inches. Big downstorm uh, came down at midnight or so. And so what we're seeing is that our road is starting to erode in certain spots. And um, what we've done is we've created a rolling dip system on our ridge road here. And so about every 30 yards or 40, 50 yards or so, we're actually creating dips that come over the back side. So we're taking the material off the side of the road, off the shoulder, bringing it onto the road itself, and then creating a gentle rolling dip that lets the water come in, hit it gently, and then about 30 degree angle goes back into the landscape. And from there, what we have are pocket ponds and swale systems that bring the water off the road, which in our particular case is just a dry creek bed. So when it rains, water's flowing down it like mad. And then that brings it into the landscape and then disperses that water and its silt. We have silt traps in various locations as well. And then brings it down into the landscape, watering the dry ridge that we have. We have more in the terms of permaculture earthworks just wait and you'll see more soon. Another spot we're doing uh, some earthworks or ecological water mitigation is this area here where the water comes under the driveway from off the road. It comes under the driveway through a, a, a culvert and then that culvert moves down this meandering or induced meandering path with all of these small one dam check or one rock checks dams that are placed in various strategic locations to help slow the water down as it moves and meanders down this landscape. And then it merges here where I'm standing from the road that we were just showing you. And then it fills up a small pond here. From that pond, it overflows and hits what's called a hook drain, what I call a hook drain. And then it flows to another pond and then it meanders itself down the landscape creating a consistent movement of water whenever it rains. We do that because it's a dry ridge. We're a humid landscape, very humid landscape, and we actually have the potential of losing our uh, Gulf Stream at certain times of the year where we can dry out or we can get super wet at different times because we're really dependent on that Gulf Stream. So I'm just taking some of this material out of here to bring it back onto the road. Hmm. Maybe wrong tool. Okay, so after about 10 minutes of work with three of us, we finished that one up there. But the effects of that one over uh, flowing its rolling dip are really present in this particular area. This particular rolling dip goes into our main terrace with a small, uh, a small pocket pond that is for a silt trap. We catch the silt so that the silt doesn't clog up the terrace. That terrace is at about one and three hundred drop, um, and then it goes into a main ridge pond. But this one's pretty obvious of the damage that's done, so we're actually going to have to take some of this material and put it back up into the road um, so that we can kind of save the erosion pr problem that we have. And then, of course, we're going to do the same thing that we did up there that you saw pictures of. Um, we're going to fix this area and then kind of clean out the direct the direction of where it's going and then all systems go